Hi guys, um, back here with another build for you. Um, this one is continuing with the levelling builds that I've been doing. I did one yesterday for the Smuggler Gunslinger. And I thought it would only be fitting to do a levelling build for the Scoundrel Advanced class for the Smuggler. Um, this is a levelling build that you can use and for the... I mean I might be sounding a bit redundant but I keep on saying it. But these builds are to be used as a base. So if you've just got yourself the game, you want to play as a um, as a smuggler, and you're not sure on... You, you've never played a, a massive multiplayer game before. You don't know how builds work or anything like that. These builds, hopefully, will give you a good base that you can use. So, um, when you get to level 10... You'll start putting your points on, as most of you know, and I'll just run through how to um, allocate your points. So this is for the smuggler, and it's uh, the advanced class is scoundrel, and it's a PVE leveling build. So when you get to level 10, the first thing you want to do, um, the first two points, level 10 and 11, will go on element of surprise. Okay, and then levels 12, 13 and 14, you're going to put on Browbeater. Levels 15 and 16, uh, and, and 17, you're going to put on Sneaky. Um, levels 18 and 19, you're going to put on Scrappy. Uh, level 20, you want to pick up Sucker Punch. Levels 21 and 22, you want to put those points on Flying Fists. Um, levels 23, you want to put on Surprise Comeback. Levels 24, you're going to put on... Uh, sorry, you're going to put on Sword Off here. Sorry, I've got this all written down and I'm just running through it. Levels 25 and 26, you're going to put on Round 2. Levels 27, 28 and 29, you're going to put on Brawler's Grit down here. Levels 30, 31 and 32... You're going to stick on Turn the Tables back up here. Um, levels 33 and 34, you're going to put on Flee the Scene. Levels 35, 36 and 37, you want to put those points on Underdog. Um, levels 38 and 39, you're going to put on KO. And level 40, you're going to pick up Fletchet round, Fletchetti round, and uh, that will max out, or not max out, but that will be your scrapper tree complete. Um, so we're going to move across to the dirty fighting tree. What you want to do now is put levels 41, 42 and 43, put those three points on no holds barred. Um, levels 44 and 45, you're going to put on hold out defence. Levels 46 and 47, you're going to put on Mortal Wound. And that will leave you with three points, which you're going to go across to the Sawbones um, skill tree here and just put the last three points, taking you up to 50, on Bedside Manor. Okay, like I say, it's not set in stone. Um, as you play the game, you'll get a style that you, you like playing as. You might not even like the class. You might try some different classes and so on. But you can swap about the points. You might do a totally different build. But if it's your first MMO, you haven't played one before, and you're confused about everything, this will be a good build, a good base build to use while you get used to the game. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I've got some PvP builds coming so please subscribe 
and you will receive notifications of them and uh, yeah and let me know if there's anything in particular that you need okay cheers guys